Or you want to see the full profile? My name is Hasina Juma and I'm from Canada. Canada in itself is a mosaic of people from different cultures, so growing up with that, seeing that there was always that sense of curiosity that I want to see what other cultures are about, what other people are about, so it's just part of who I am. <laughs> So I have a wide range of work experience. It's all in the area of communication. I'm currently working part-time on um, the COPSI project. It stands for European Communication Professional Skills Program. And it's looking at the competencies that communication professionals need in Europe. I have two responsibilities in the COPSI project. The first one is helping to disseminate information either through writing journal articles or attending conferences like the 2012 Hofstede Symposium. And I'm also involved in the data collection process in terms of helping to analyze the data and helping to write the final report for the project. Hi everyone, my name is Hasina Juma and I'm currently a mixed student completing the third semester of the program. I'm currently based at Leeds Metropolitan University and I'm working on my dissertation as well as working on the ECOPSI project which stands for European Communication Professional Skills and Innovation Program with Professor Ralph Tench. I consider myself as a researcher um, and it's, it's definitely exciting. I think I would compare it to running a marathon in a sense um, because as a research project, it, this particular research project is taking place over three years. And I think you need to be focused and you need to be diligent in order to ensure that you're meeting your targets over the three years. So definitely similar to a marathon runner. <laughs> so it's an opportunity for me to apply some of the skills that I learned in my research methods class and some of the other classes that I had and apply it to a real life research project. One of the findings from the COPSI project was that there's a greater need for practitioners today to maintain an understanding of culture because we live in this world where information and people are moving, are all interconnected and are all complex. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that one skill set and looking at it more in depth and I'm saying, is intercultural competency relevant for international public relations managers who work in the private sector in Europe? because a lot of these communication professionals operate in a global company, so their work crosses borders. And if you look at some of the challenges that they're facing or some of the crises that they're, that they're facing, oftentimes it goes back to misunderstanding or that whole intercultural competency. So my dissertation is figuring out the how and the why of this question. Pursuing the master's program allowed me to gain the competencies that are relevant for communication professionals so that I can make that next leap in my career. And it's also an opportunity to, again, build on my international profile and add it to the other experiences that I've already completed. The program has helped me in many ways. For example, we've participated in, in a lot of cross-cultural activities and some of the times it's also those activities have pushed me um, outside of my comfort zone and it and it's in a good way because it 
in the sense it broadens your horizon. The programs also helped me to develop my teamwork skills, my oral and written communication skills, um, and just my intercultural knowledge of how you deal with other students, how do you work with them together. So those skills together give me um, additional tools in my toolbox that I can use in the in the workplace. And the results that we got from working in a team that's international was far greater than having a team consists of individuals all from the same country. Don't be blind. See to be the difference. One battle, two universities fighting against carbon. The purpose of the campus carbon battle, also known as C2B, is to challenge university students to reduce electricity consumption over one semester and to evoke a change in students' behavior. I think the benefits that we had from working on an international team was we each had different work experiences, different educational experiences, and we each came from a different background. So the way we would um, conduct a project is very different. Um, and different doesn't ne necessarily have a negative connotation, it's just a different way of, of seeing the problem. So I think because of our experiences and our educational backgrounds, we each view the problem in a different way. So someone may say something and that may, that may trigger something in the second individual to say, oh, I hadn't thought of that perspective. And then you build on each other's ideas. Whereas I think if you have a group that's, if everyone's from the s same background, you may, there, there is a danger that everyone could view the problem from the same angle instead of viewing it from multiple perspectives. And I think if you're able to view it from multiple perspectives, you'll get a range of solutions and you'll have team players that are discussing and building on ideas to create a stronger solution. For me, building an international profile is something that I knew from a very young age. And I think it comes from being Canadian and living in a society that's so multicultural where the other, there's always, if there's someone from another culture or there's always a sense of curiosity and to find out more information about where that person is from, what their culture is about, what, what are their traditions. And I think growing up with that curiosity and growing up in a community where there's people from all different backgrounds, that's one of the things that inspired me to build an international profile. It's so, just part of who I am. 